Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do a video on one of the three semi-permanent plastic trim and tire coatings that I have at the shop and I use um, quite frequently. We're going to start with Black Pearl and we'll also take a look at Solution Finish down the road and then also Gion Trim after that and then we'll put them all head to head like we did our temporary plastic trim restoration and protection products a little while ago. We have more of those to go to. There's a bunch of those, so we'll do another video on um, those. We'll put some more on a big piece of plastic trim. We'll compare them, beat them up a little bit. And we're going to do the same with the semi-permanent um, products as well, but we're going to do it, uh, we're going to break them down one by one first because they're all quite different. Um, there's preparation and there's application and there's curing with these that need to be uh, paid attention to. So we're going we're gonna to take care of that. We're going to look at that today with the Black Pearl. That is a polymer coating or a polymer film that can go on both plastic trim, black, gray, doesn't matter what color it is, or tires. Now those are two different worlds between the trim and the tires because you have... Um, Trim has nothing to do with the actual movement on traffic and roadway. Uh, like the tires will have flexing and stretching through rotation. So you're going to get about six months plus from the tires. But when it comes to plastic trim, you can actually stretch it out if you do the correct preparation. And that's huge with these three uh, products we're going to talk about. Preparation is key. And I'm going to show you that today. Let's get started. I'm not sure as I'm in the I see my ship right there. Okay, not that Black Pearl. This Black Pearl here comes in both gloss and matte tinted, which would be for black plastic trim and great for tires. It also comes in gloss and matte clear. You can get it in 4 ounce, 16 ounce, and 1 gallon sizes, all starting at $19. You can get it in a kit with their application roller and OmniClean, their surface preparation for the product. I have a roller. I prefer to use a spray gun or uh, an airbrush system. And when it comes to preparation, I have my own system. I'm going to show you here the best preparation to make the product last. And when it comes to the next three products we're going to cover for semi-permanent, preparation is key, just like I mentioned. So the first step here is going to be full strength, an all-purpose cleaner. I'm going to go over it the first time. We're going to draw up a lot of dirt that way. And we're going to have two more steps after that. Take your time, be thorough, get in all the cracks and folds and corners. Okay, the next step is going to be an acetone wash. Great for removing waxes, greases, oils, natural oils in the substrate, uh, any type of film that be, may be on the plastic. And I just simply apply to a microfiber and go over the area. I'm again getting in all the folds and the corners, making sure to cover every square inch of the piece of plastic trim. If you have a piece that can be removed from the car completely, you could set up on horses like this, that's ideal. If it has to stay on the car, just tape off any um, painted surfaces or glass or anything that might butt up against the plastic trim. You can get the coating on the trim. It cleans off rather easy. It's a water-based product, polymer-based. But uh, if you tape it off, you're going to save yourself some time. Third step is going to be another going over with a full strength cleaner, degreaser. Could be super clean, purple power, really doesn't matter. And once again, I'm getting in every fold in every corner. I also make sure I have a light colored microfiber so I can keep checking. If I keep getting up dirt or if I bring up color, I'm just going to go over it again because preparation is key for longevity. And when I use this product, that's what I'm looking for to begin with. That's what I'm charging for. So I'm just going to take my time and, and do what I have to do for the preparation. When I am completely satisfied that it's wax, oil, grease, and dirt free, I'm going to start the application. I'll show you here with the roller. Just dump a little bit in the tray, spread it out, and get it get a nice even layer on the roller. And it's just like painting a wall. Now, this method will give you a little bit of texture 
uh, especially at first, and you're going to see it settles in. I'll show you some side by side. And it's kind of another reason I like to use the airbrush system or a spray gun. This here is the gloss tinted, which I use on tires more than anything else. I'm going to break out the airbrush system and spray a little bit of this panel with the flat or the matte colored uh, tinted. And you can also get clear. But remember, with clear, whatever you put it on, you're going to see it's transparent. So you just use that mostly to protect uh, better on tires, newer tires. The roller they send with, it's foam. It's thick, it's soft, it's plush. So you can get in all the corners and crevices and, and different shapes of, of your plastic trim. Now, as you can see here, it's gonna go on with a little bit of texture coming from the roller itself. If you look to the right, that's been setting for a while and that texture is gonna go away slowly as it starts to cure. I personally use the airbrush system or a spray gun to get away from that completely and not really have to work um, quite as careful to get it in the corners and some of the hard to reach places. It just lays down easier with the airbrush system and it looks a lot better too in my opinion. Again, a water-based product so it easily rinses from your spray gun or airbrush system with warm water and the coating or the film pliable. Whatever plastic trim you put it on, you can bend it. It's not going to crack. Now, I'm going to tell you when the product does crack. If you really uh, neglect the way you uh, prime or prep the surface and get it ready for the coating, it has to be free of waxes and oils. And, and I can't stress that enough because I get a lot of questions on um, does it crack or it has cracked. You know, what's the, the, the main reason for that? It's all because it was poor prep. When it comes to applying this product to plastic trim, if I'm the one prepping and I'm the one maintaining it, it's going to last for years. When it comes to tires, somewhere around six months. You have to understand the way tires flex and stretch during rotation. It's really hard on the product. You add to that all the surface materials and chemicals that come in contact with the film while it's on the tires. And uh, six months is, is actually pretty good for anything to last on a tire. Okay, so here I'm going to apply it with the airbrush system, and I'll be applying the satin uh, tinted. And this goes on much nicer, lays down much easier. And when it's finished curing, I'm not just going to send it out the door. I want to get uh, as much out of the product as possible, so I'm going to put an entry-level level coating on top of that before I send it out. No texture whatsoever from being in contact with a roller or an application tool. Looks good, gets in all the uh, corners and tough to reach areas, lays down nice, and I think looks much better than the glossy uh, rolled on areas. Now compared to a regular spray gun, the airbrush system here goes on thin, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on two or three coats, depending on how bad the plastic trim is, and this is what it looks like. Okay, so now you can see one layer or one coat from the airbrush, one coat from the roller, one satin, and one gloss side. If you want a darker, glossier look, put another coat of the gloss. If you want a nice, deep, richer look from the satin, put another coat. I'm definitely going to have to put another coat when I airbrush anyways. I'll let that cure the rest of the day or overnight. You could put it back together, send it on its way, or I myself will protect it, coat it, and then send it on its way. When it comes to putting it on tires, I applied it to this tire 14 months ago. Let's drag it down, clean it off, and take a look at it. Now, this hasn't been driven. This hasn't been stretched and uh, driven on roadways, but it has been out in direct sunlight, weather, extreme temperatures. So... It didn't crack, 
It is very dirty. We are going to clean it, take a look at it. When it comes to care for the film or the coating, you can buy OmniClean from their website. I personally use Wipeout, which is a rinseless wash that can be used on all surfaces. Gently cleans it, gives it a nice, deep, dark, rich look again. For 14 months, this looks great. I applied the tinted gloss to the larger area and the tinted satin to the smaller area. Okay, let me grab the camera, bring you in as close as I can so you can take a look at the film after 14 months. Outside in the elements, in my area, the weather is absolutely horrible. Um, if, you, if I can give you a percentage of nice days in my area, it would be 5% out of the year. Okay, so the little section that hasn't been treated, I'm going to go ahead and fill that in, show you how I apply the tires. I'll use the roller on here and just make sure I get in between all the uh, decorative nibs and lettering that may be on the sidewall. It, as you can see, when you apply it to black, there is a little bit of a dark blue or purple tinge, and that goes away as it sets and cures and turns into a nice, dark, deep, rich color. If you have anything other than black trim, you're going to go ahead and either buy the gloss clear or the satin clear. This is what it looks like up close on a tire right after applications the first few seconds into curing. And then I'll show you what it looks like after it's fully cured. Although it looks glossy, this is going to be the gloss. It's dry to the feel, dry to touch, no oily, waxy, or greasy buildup. No sling whatsoever, zero. Okay guys, again, Black Pearl um, Tire and Trim Armor. I'm going to put a link down below if you want to look into it a little bit further. I like to airbrush the plastic trim pieces with it. You get a nice, perfect layer. Um, I'll also put it in a paint canister or a paint gun if I have a huge piece I have to take care of. When it comes to tires, I'm going to use the roller. Now, when it comes to the Black Pearl and any of these next three products that are semi-permanent. Preparation is key. You're, you're going to get um, out of the product what you put into it when it comes to preparation. It's the most important aspect of the product itself, preparation. So, if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.